Tracy, Freddie was just saying that the energy's been really good this week and guys have responded after a tough loss. Can you just address how the job Freddie has done and kind of keeping this together despite you know, the last few tough weeks you guys have had? Yeah, I think he's really kept us. I mean, the, the whole idea of going 1 0 has, hasn't really changed. You know, the, that idea of, you know, this day being the most important day, uh, each day going into a game, and then obviously that that week's game being the most important. And you know, we're not really looking beyond you know one week at a time, and just it's just really focused and dialing in on what we can do this week. You feel like he's had it. Everybody has his. He has everyone's attention. Absolutely. In their ear. Absolutely. How much better is Baltimore's defense now? Than <laughs> Uh, I, they're, they're still a talented group. I mean, I, I think they've gotten better. They do some different things. Uh, obviously, they've added some different personnel. Um, uh, but they're a talented group overall, and they throw a lot at you. It's going to you know, be a lot of communication needed, um, a lot of studying, a lot of understanding, um, and just everybody being on the same page. So with uh, Peters now back there and Jimmy Smith back, do they bring more pressure? Uh, I mean... They, they'll blitz from anywhere, uh, and, and that's the thing where you know there's not really any any read or, or understanding of where they're going to come from. You have to be ready for everywhere. Um, but I mean, they just do a really good job, and um, you know they've you know how, how their offense have played. They've had the ability to uh, to play with a lead for the most part most of the season, and kind of unload a lot of exotic blitzes, and you know make you work and study a lot of different things. Um, so it'll be a it'll be a, a good test for us. Um, but I think we're, you know, we're all getting on the same page, and you know, we'll be ready. How much of a difference does Brandon Williams make? Uh, I mean, they got a lot of they got a lot of depth, but I think him especially, you know, the, the strength, um, you know, the the ability to, to push the pocket uh, and get penetration, um, you know, you know, Pierce also does a great job. Um, but those two together, obviously, he wasn't in the first game. Um, just having another body with the ability to do that. Um, helps that defense a lot. JC, I understand you're, you know, your job's pretty fun. You, you know where you're lining up on every single mm -hmm. play. Just, I, I'm kind of curious, you know, some of the issues just you know, getting the offense lined up at times, you know, Baker's having to direct traffic mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Just as part of the unit, what do you observe when, when that happens? What, what, what's leading to that? Uh, I mean, we, we run a lot of different personnels, um, and then we run a lot of similar plays out of those personnels. That way we can – you know, kind of be dynamic with what we go out there. So um, there are always going to be some, you know, not miscommunications, but just, you know, little mix-ups of, all right, this is this person, i got to be in this position. So that's going to happen sometimes when you, you know, we've seen what we've done adding, you know, the Nick and uh, Kareem uh, personnel and then having all that kind of built together with all the other personnel groups. So there's going to be some of that stuff, but um, that all I think that comes with, with everything of just, you know, that's, that's the quarterback's job is making sure everybody's in the right spot. So I think Baker's, Baker's fine with that. Obviously, we'd love to be able to trot out and never really have a, a kind of a little mind uh, screw up, but um, that's going to happen. How do you monitor, I mean, talk about how the way you monitor your practice time and yet still stay, stay sharp on, on Sunday. Uh, yeah, I think as you get older, um, you have a, a good grasp of what you need during the week. Um, and when you get a little banged up, then it's, you know, it's a balancing act of what your body needs and what your mind needs. Um, so we do a really good job in meetings, going over looks and um, you know, going over what we're going to get and, and talking through things. And I think that's the most important part uh, for an offensive line unit uh, is that communication in meetings, is looking at the, the film, talking through how you're going to pick things up. Um, and I think that's where a lot of the kind of problem solving gets done. Uh, and then at this point, we've played together long enough that the physical reps themselves of, you know, how we fit, you know, where our feet are, that we're all kind of used to that at this point. So that's not as crucial. But when you have a new game each week, a new opponent, uh, new blitzes, new looks, you know, the time in the film room uh, is really the most important part. Is that something of Joe Thomas did it when... You know, I think you were for one year. Isn't that kind of how he... Yeah, yeah, Joe, uh, Joe didn't do much on Wednesdays and Thursdays. Then we'll come back and do kind of the walkthrough period uh, on Fridays. But, you know, he, he too was, was confident. Uh, he was more, if my body's right, my mind's going to be fine. Um, so that's just as you get older, you kind of have a, a better understanding of, of things like that. I know we I don't think so. I, I think it's been been a long time from then. Um, I think they're worried about other things at this point. We're worried about other things at this point. I, I, I don't think that's gonna, you know, even be a be a thought. I, I, that has that was the first time I've even thought about it uh, since since it happened. So uh, I, I don't think it'll be a, a much of a storyline. I know. Uh, even after that week four win, you talked right away about having to go out to San Francisco. I think it was the next game. And 
couldn't just count on that game being a springboard. Mm. But looking back at it now, they've got one ten in a row, and you guys have struggled. Yeah. Um, how surprising is it to you that you guys couldn't build on it the way I'm sure you hoped to build on it? Yeah, I mean, it kind of shows you kind of w what the NFL is like in that uh, one game doesn't really – mean anything or, or carry anything it's about going out there and and executing every week is, is how you win and, and momentum is a, is a nice word and all but it's really about execution and um, you know last time we played Baltimore I think we executed very well on all all three phases of the, of the uh, football team uh, and games that we've done that we've succeeded in games that we've had you know one phase or two phases not execute you know we haven't been able to win uh, so I think that's more of the the sign is you know when you when you have a game where you can execute in all three phases, you usually have great games and, and wins. And when you have a phase or two falter, it's it's tough to win in this league. So the disappointment would be that you weren't able to continue that consistency of execution. Right. right. Yeah. We that's something I think every game, you know, the the margin in this league of winning and losing is so so tight. Um, that you know, you really need to execute at every phase to to give yourself a chance. And when you don't, you're really fighting an uphill battle to try to win games. Was that game Browns at their very best? Um, I, yeah, I mean, I think we played very well. Obviously, you know, we did some things uh, on offense. Obviously, Nick had a huge day. Um, some long passes. Defense played well. Special teams played well. So I. I I'd have to go back and look, but I th it's one of our better ones this year. Obviously, we played a complete complete game. How much do you expect them to, I don't know, I mean, they, obviously the defense always wants to stop the run, but mm -hmm. after the success you had, how much of a focal point do you expect them to, to make, stop the run? Yeah, obviously, uh, you know, that's, a, that's a better question for them, but uh, I think, obviously, they'll have maybe a little chip on their shoulder about doing something, but again, like, like you said, I think every, every week they go out there um, whether they haven't played a team yet or they're playing us for the second time, you know, looking to stop the run and get after the passer. That's that's, you know, especially the guys up front. That's that's what they're paid to do. So, I think it won't be much different than what what would have happened. Obviously, I think, you know, they now you know see what we did and oh, we'll try to combat it. But, um, you know, it's been a long time since since we played and you know schemes are different, plays are different, players are different. Um, so I think it's kind of a different game. Well, they, they, so because of their two wins in a row, they they've opened up. Browns in the stands. Is that a true measurement of the difference of the team? Um, I, I don't. No, nah, again, I, again, you you are what your record is at this point. Um, so, yeah, I mean, they're right now a playoff team, and we're you know fighting for our lives. Um, but I mean, I, I can't really speak to you know what they are. You know, they're. Most likely going to be, I think, the number one seed in the playoffs. They've had a, a hell of a year. All the power to them. Obviously, we're not in that position. Um, we would love to be. We, we still believe in what we have here. Um, but to get to that point, you have to earn it. And we haven't, we haven't earned that right. We haven't earned that record. And we haven't earned that position yet. In terms of some of the matchups that are going to be different from the first time that you blocked into their defense, who are some of the guys uh, that you did you personally didn't face uh, last time you'll, you'll be facing this time? Uh, Brandon Williams will be back. He didn't play the first game, uh, but we, we've played against him in, in years past. He's a very talented player. Uh, they brought in Pecco. Uh, they've done some changes to their linebackers, their dime personnel, their nickel personnel. Um, so they'll be trotting out some different looks. So there'll be a lot of different bodies in there that we you know, weren't in there the first time we played. Um, but, you know, we, we've seen enough on a film. Some of the guys we've played before, we played Pecco last year when he was in, um, uh, when he was in uh, Denver. Um, so it's all people you've seen and played against, and now it's just about playing them this week.